Hello, welcome to the Horror of It All Movie Podcast. I'm Eric. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my Subscriber Week Vinegar Syndrome package. Um, if you have been keeping up with my videos, sorry it's been a little while. I've had sickness in the house. I'm still sick. Um, so i got to get to the my top 10 videos for 2023 very, very soon. Um... Just so you know, they're coming. I don't have an exact time frame, but I have a top 10 uh, Vinegar Syndrome of last year releases um, and other stuff. Um, I'm not going to commit to anything other than that right at the moment. Um, so I'm out of it. So if it's a little weird in this video, um, I'm just going to go through my stuff and we'll call it an episode. Um, as you see right here, i got a nice... A nice big package here from Subscriber Week. I um, ordered throughout the week. I did my subscription, all that good stuff. So let's dive in. All right. Get some protectors. I'm going to do these first. I like that they're together. That's very nice. I am super excited about cinematograph uh, i believe i'm saying it right because i watched a podcast with uh justin la liberty who is kind of like the ceo so speak i guess of cinematograph he also obviously is the head of ocn and or one of the main people of ocn um and obviously works for vinegar syndrome but here are the new releases right out of the gate two great ones somehow <coughs> excuse me I've never seen this one, um, and I'm a huge Nicolas Cage fan, but we're going to go through each of these um, because the packaging is really cool. And getting Little Darlings is huge just for the simple fact of, well, Justin Liberty has been trying to get it. Um, it's one of his favorite movies, um, and now I finally got it. I've never even seen it. I don't think it's been on physical media since VHS or something like that, so it's it, it's a huge deal. Um, this will be one of the first things that I watch for sure. Um, but it's very cool packaging. I'm not a J card. I don't like J cards, but that's what has the numbers on it. Um, number five oh seven. I don't know how well you can see that. It's awful bright um, right now, but. Um, and it comes out, it's a nice, nice book, nice soft book. We got the two discs. These were, um, special, like, made and molded for this release. Um, I think they'll do that with all of them, which is cool. A nice book. And, uh, the box. Um, it's got one of those different it's an interesting smell i know i'm a weirdo i like the smell of new stuff but it's definitely different um but i will say the j card's on there really well i'm not a j card fan i'm really not but but that's cool i i i am very excited for these and if you don't keep up with it as well as i do so to speak or others um Cinematograph is going to be, um, there isn't one in February, but there will be one throughout the rest of the year, other than June and December, because those are partner label months. Um, and then we have, oh, I didn't, did I say Little Darlings? Again, like I told you, I'm out of it, so. Um, Red Rock West, it's supposed to be like, uh, like a noir, so to speak, um, I do really like film noirs, so that's cool. But um, man, I I'm really really intrigued by this label. Um, same similar packaging, nice soft book. We got one disc in this one. This is a Blu-ray. Oh, Little Darlings is a 4K and a Blu-ray. Um, they're not all going to be 4Ks, I guess. Um, but this is the best this has ever looked, and it's, it's Blu-ray debut in the U.S., I believe, so, um, there is that. Very, very interesting packaging. 
different smell too. Like I know I said that already, but um, I'm I, I'm just I'm just so excited for these. All right, let's dive into the regular shit. Um, we got it's gonna be all over the place. So we got the new VSP number five called what is it? Divinity, I think. Um, Stephen Dorff's in this. Uh, Scott Bakula's in this. I remember watching the trailer and being like, holy shit, Scott Bakula's getting old. And I mean, you'll have that. But um, I hadn't seen him in a while. So if you're not familiar with who I'm talking about, he was in Quantum Leap, one of my favorite shows growing up. Um, and I love Stephen Dorff. I mean, SFW is one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, but that's the inside. That's the reverse. Very nice. Um, and then we got a book. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. New VSP. If you haven't noticed on the website, uh, whenever this goes up... Um, it may it should be before that, but on the first of February, it, we got a we got vinegar syndrome titles, of course. But there's also other than partner labels. There's going to be um, a VSA, a VSL, and uh, De Gauser number two. Um, De Gauser, I think that's how you say it. How you say it. Um, but yeah, Divinity. Oh, that's right. There's one other one in here. We got the newest VSU, Southern Comfort. And if you're familiar with VSUs, it has a book. It has this. The packaging is the same. This, they're always 4Ks, U meaning like ultra. Got a 4K and the reverse is that which I will flip. Pretty cool. They sure knocked it out of the park on this subscriber week for sure. An alarm set for every day. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people did that. Um, if they're obsessive like I am. But, um, but yeah, uh, who is this? Um, Walter Hill of um, uh, Warriors fame directed Southern Comfort. There's that. All right, bag number two. Well, three. <laughs> I won't go into this too much. Um, I don't know how much I can show of this, really, anyway. Um, Stud Hunters of the Meluzine line, uh, or website. Um, this is Quality X. Uh, I've bought all of the Quality X releases. I'm pretty big fan of those. Um, so yeah, there's that. We got the VS, I think this is the VSL. This is the new VSL, uh, Sex Mission. Uh, it, it, it looks like a silly little romp um, that I am excited for. This is just usual like vinegar syndrome type packaging. And we got a book. Pretty cool. Got some reverse art here, which I will flip. But um, check out the trailer for any of these on the Vinegar Syndrome um, YouTube page. Because there is definitely some fun stuff with all of this, I believe. Now this one has been one, uh, this was part of my subscriber package, uh, that I have meant to see, been meaning to see for a long time. 
And what better way to do it with Vinegar Syndrome, and I believe it's on 4K, yep. Um, we got the horrible Dr. Hitchcock. Um, nice box and a book. Went all out on this. Different art on the slip. There's that side and that side. We got the 4K here. There's those. We got a Blu ray and a 4K. Um, we got the reverse art. I will flip while I have it. Um, I have never seen this movie, and I have been eager to see it for a long time. What a better way to see it than on 4K, on a restoration from Vinegar Syndrome, of course. Um, put all this back here. All right. Got, oh, that's cool. They put bubble wrap inside of this. Um, I wasn't even sure if I was going to get this box, but it's for Freeway 1 and 2, which a little precursor to um, my next video with my top 10 favorite Vinegar Syndrome releases of last year. Freeway 2 is up there for sure. I love that movie. But I wasn't sure if I was going to get the box because honestly, yes, it, they released Freeway 1 and 2 on 4K, but they are kind of their own their own beasts, uh, so to speak. Uh, I, I, I love those movies. Um, but yeah, I might even like the second one even more, but that's the box. All right. Uh, this one is a partner label that they've had for a long time, and it's really just one of those that, just to kind of show how great 4K can look, um, but it's called Awaken, and it was on one of the days where uh, they did, I think it was for 4Ks, I'm not sure, but I never intended on buying this, but it's got that little uh, thing there, that's the, that's that. Um, but something, something clicked and I was just like, I, I want this now. So I don't know. One of those weird things. Um, this is out of a lot of this stuff. One of the things that I am very, very excited about forgotten jelly part, uh, volume six. Um, I'll open these after, but, um, we got death carries a cane, naked you die and the bloodstained shadow this one i do have on dvd um but i i've never seen these two so i've heard of them so that's definitely cool that's going to be one of the one of the first things that i watch for sure uh, i know my son will be diving into it because he's super good into jello um so yeah um i'm just gonna kind of cruise through these right now um, this was an afterthought, and it's kind of like a, like a, it's kind of, speaking of Jallo, it's kind of like a Jallo, um, but let's see, a French one, it's one of the last altered innocents that they, I got the stranger, um, I didn't really buy a lot of their stuff, it wasn't really... A lot. Of, some of them were for me. Some of them weren't. But I've been kind of trying to cut back because I have so many um, partner labels that I really got to get to. So um, adding to it would just make it that much worse. So I've been I've been buying less and less partner labels. I'm there for vinegar syndrome anyway, but definitely cool. Um, no reverse. Just got like a different uh, artwork behind it, but. This was like an afterthought going back into it, but it looks pretty interesting, pretty intriguing. The Strangler. I think I called it The Stranger a minute ago. <laughs> All right, and we got another one that I went back for uh, called One Man. Uh, this is, 
what uh, Canadian International Pictures. Um, they're another one that I don't necessarily buy everything, but I do buy way more of those than say other labels. So it, they're kind of they're kind of in the middle. They're not a staple like like Agfa or uh, TerraVision used to be, pretty much. Uh, um, Saturn's Core, which I'll get to that one. But I've got a book. I've got a reverse art here. Definitely cool art. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> and then this one was the one that sold out super quickly. And, um, um, but Blonde Death. Uh, this is a new uh, partner label for Bleeding Skull. I believe they had done collaborations with Agfa. But uh, this the slipcover sold out super quickly. Um, but this was one of my initial, because I didn't think I could get that many partner labels, being as there was so much going on that week. Um, but I was able to get this. Uh, I didn't think of it like, oh, it's going to sell out super quick or anything, but it, it did. Um, you can still get it, of course. It's the, the, if you care about slipcovers, they're gone, but... Um, so yeah, there's that. And, uh, well, speaking of Saturn's Core, that's what I was talking about. Age of Demons is the new Saturn's Core. That artwork is pretty nice. Um, very interesting lo-fi looking cover there. Sorry about the glare because it's plastic. And get that off. Come on. All right, and they already reversed it for me, so that's Saturn, the new Saturn's core. All right, let's see. I got one more bag, and I'll just I'll just show the shirt for now. Um, this I wasn't sure about this shirt, but it is really cool. Um, I have this design, but if you can see it, it's like a camera negative and. The more I thought about it and the more I looked at it, I was like, that's really cool. Um, Alright, one more. Uh, this was a going back thing. I'm really glad that I noticed it. It's called Cracking Up. But as soon as I saw Matt Mittler of The Mutilator fame, uh, he stars in this, directs this. Uh, I've never heard of it. I didn't even know he did that, many, that much stuff because Vinegar Syndrome also put out a couple movies that he was in that were like no budget sci-fi movies um beyond i can't remember what they're called but uh uh battle for the lost planet and mutant war this was the alternate slip cover that came out a little while ago um he's also in those i really like the guy i think he's actually a pretty decent actor and this like i said is his his movie um got a card that's different um but yeah cracking up uh seems seems a bit bonkers there's no reverse it's just a picture um but again just like uh just like the strangler i'm glad i went back and got a couple other partner labels i was trying to like really narrow it down and whatever but i had to get those um and then of course Ooh, this is different. Interesting. Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know this yet, um, the new VSA is Black Cat 1 and 2. There's about 500 movies called Black Cat, but this looks really intriguing to me. Um, it's a fatter VSA because it has this like long book. It's very interesting. I didn't, I guess I didn't notice that or read up on it. Um, very interesting. I wonder if there's anything different. I, it's pro this is probably the same, but, um. Very cool. I almost wish they were doing that all along, the way, like, a long book and stuff. That's really, really cool. But uh, we got the poster in here like normal. 
Uh, we got two blue rays. Um, I really like that artwork. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> very, very cool. So I wonder if that's something they'll do for going forward, or this is just for this. I don't know. Um, and I got one more, one more thing, and then I'm good to go. This is my other vinegar syndrome um, that came with my subscriber package. This is Sant Santet one and two. There's that. Open it real quick for you. And we'll call it an episode. And we got a book. Very cool. So, that was my uh, big old uh, Vinegar Syndrome box for Subscriber Week. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me know what you got in the comments and all that good stuff. And like I said, I'm going to do my damnedest to get out these uh, ranking videos that I have coming. Uh, especially the top ten my top 10 favorite vinegar syndrome releases of 2023 um and if i get more of them done great but it's definitely at least going to be that one like i said this pretty much this whole month uh has been sick in my house and i'm still sick i'm still recovering it was all the energy i could to get through this but i wanted to do this because i mean it was it was a big deal it was subscriber week it's vinegar syndrome so um but anyway uh Check out my other videos. I have a lot of Vinegar Syndrome stuff. Um, I will try to link it just around here. It will be. It will pop up somewhere um, for uh, other Vinegar Syndrome stuff. I'll uh, post like the uh, my folder with all the Vinegar Syndrome stuff. And check out my other stuff. This started out as a podcast because I mean it has podcast still in the title uh, with my buddy Adam, and uh, we'd just go through literally step-by-step -step certain movies and stuff like that so it's definitely heavy spoilers um but now it's just unboxings going through certain orders um rankings when i can get to them uh and uh yeah but i also do severin stuff on the channel and i have an ongoing top 10 favorite horror movies of each year in the 80s which i gotta finish that too but there is quite quite a few of them i'm almost done uh throughout the decade and i may go to another decade i'm not sure uh but yeah be on the lookout for that and check out those other videos like and subscribe it's always helpful and uh so yeah uh this has been the horror of it all movie podcast i'm eric until next time